Alexa, turn on lights. Okay. Alexa, thank you. No problem. Well, hello, YouTube and RV fans. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about the uh, home RV automation that I've uh, just installed. I know I did a video about this uh, earlier, but I uh, put that up just after I bought it and I didn't really have a chance to create a network of um, items of things that you could do. Now, the way this uh, whole thing works here is um, you buy your... Amazon Echo and you're gonna to have to buy a uh, mobile router if you're in an RV if you're if you're not or if you're in an RV park and you don't move you can just use the RV parks Wi-Fi but if you're uh, moving around like I do um, it's nice to have all this stuff work and I want to tell all you RV people that want to go this way with uh, automation for your RV uh, it works on a modified sine wave inverter and I know because I've I've tested it. It will work no problemo. So um, what you're going to need to do is you need to buy a bunch of Wemo switches. You buy as many as you need. And the, the beauty is you can uh, change the names for what you're using them for all the time. You can, uh, if you move into your house, you can use them in your house. Because obviously this is designed for your home. But all this shit works well in your RV. So I've got a bunch of switches now. I can control my heater. I can control lights, I can control my counter lights, and I can expand it as I need it. But the first step uh, is kind of like a multi-stage uh, process to get it to work. You gotta get your Wemo app going first. Now this is the traditional way. If you can see, there's like three devices uh, on there right now. I don't know if you can see from that, but the old way is you can control all this stuff from your app. Now, well, I say, well, why bother? You know, when I'm sleeping up on the top of the Class C in the big bunk upstairs, why would I want to have to get out of bed to turn the heat off or get out of bed to turn the lights off or get out of bed to listen to the news or get the weather or ask what time it is or set the alarm? Why would I want to do that? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm 50 years old or nearly 50 years old. Why would I, you know, I've, I've worked long enough that I can have Alexa. Oh, there she is. Do all this stuff for me. Um, it just makes sense and the best part is it does translate wirelessly while you're on the road You don't have to be plugged in to uh, shore power for all this stuff to work. So um, uh, Obviously if you're running appliances that need shore power to, to work that ain't gonna work But all the rest of the stuff it definitely runs from the modified sine wave inverter so I'm gonna give you a couple demonstrations and um if you guys have any questions, I will definitely answer them. So, uh, like I said, step number one, buy the switches. Step two, get the Wemo app. Then get the, uh, of course, you're going to need the app for Alexa, uh, the Amazon Echo. And if you're not in the United States, you're going to have to get creative to get the app like I did. And you have to register that with her on her own Alexa app. So no, step number one, you always hook this up. Then you go onto the Alexa app and she'll find it. Once it's all discovered and all the network is all integrated, you can forget about it. It is seamless. It works fine. It's just in the background and uh, there's not much else to say. I'm not a big tech techie guy, but it was pretty straightforward for me to set up. So on that note, I'll give you some demonstrations and uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Alexa, turn on LED. Okay. Alexa, turn on heater. <laughs>